Our right, Sagamore fans, I don't think I've seen this before. 1984's Impulse, starring Tim Matheson and Meg Tilly. Let's check it out. And Hume Cronin. Our movie starts with an earthquake. Tim Matheson as Stuart. His girlfriend Meg Tilly as Jennifer. She gets a call from her mother. Strange call. Doing that all the time. You filthy little smiling slut. Mom didn't die. She's in the hospital. This is that town where that earthquake took place. She was swearing at her and everything. Couldn't figure out. It was a strange call. People in the rest of the town act strange too. Like this guy just taking a piss on Stuart's car. There's some chaos at the bank as people start taking money. A fight at the bar. How come you think you're better than me? I know. You know, you always have. You always have. Where do you think you're taking her, asshole? Just back off, huh? Will you back off? Let's see real thing. <laughs> Stuart apparently took this lady's parking spot and was going to move for her. People are acting on their worst impulses. As far as we know, no genetic history. Hume Cronin, the doctor. This could be some kind of a disease. As if the sensor in people has disappeared. So they're acting on any urge that comes along instead of censoring out the unacceptable ones. You ever get mad when someone took your parking place? Well, he then checks on uh, Jennifer's mother, cuts off her breathing tube. The Yankee on Impulse also? Jennifer goes over to an old friend's house. The mother appears to have broken the son's arm. And when she tries to leave, they lock her in the garage and start a fire. She is able to get out of that garage eventually. Doctor apparently eventually did kill her mother. She died of lack of oxygen. Her spray must have stopped. No, it was still running. I heard it. Strange scene they were with the doctor when uh, they were about to leave town. All of a sudden, the bridge is out. And then the doctor takes the car and kills himself. The sheriff goes after a young hoodlum. Jesus Christ! I'm going to teach that little bastard not to crack parking meters. Sheriff! Sure. Stuart at his, uh, Jennifer's house, or his parents' house, finds a bunch of risque photos of Jennifer in her brother's room. Bill Paxson is her brother. You to see something else. And speaking of Bill Paxton, looks like Stewart killed him. So clearly something's fucked up everywhere, so she decides to just flee. She 
doesn't get very far, though. There's a bunch of chaos going on in the city. She does manage to get out there, though, but then... I guess somebody shot her and she got run off the road. Meanwhile, Stuart wanders around out in the woods, and he comes across this, uh, whatever this is. Now, there's, there's some earthquake damage there that has been repaired. That's the white stuff you see there. Apparently, that held some toxic waste, and he follows that waste, which leaked out of it, to this milk processing plant, apparently, and realizes that the milk has all been poisoned by this toxic waste. And then he stumbles upon... Jennifer. It's okay, Jenny. It's okay. He realizes she's the only one who hasn't drank the milk. There's some kind of toxic spill. You got into the milk. You gotta get out of here. What's the use? <laughs> There's some barrels, and there's an airplane. Stewart is seeing this also. Apparently they're spraying the whole town. Give me the keys. I'm just gonna have to find it. Well, Jennifer actually saw that guy kill Stuart. She's gonna kill him. The town is in disarray. Did they kill each other or did that spray kill them? The movie ends with Jennifer walking off in a brief prologue. All right, let's talk about 1984's movie Impulse. Not to be confused with uh, a couple other movies I have uh, with that same title, including one with William Shatter that I reviewed I don't know, a year ago, maybe. But anyway, this one actually I've never seen before. I looked back in my cable guides years ago and decided if it ever comes back, I'll tape it because it looked like it was a horror movie and that's about all I knew about it. I did end up getting a hold of it eventually. Never watched it then. Never watched the DVD until uh, today. So there you go. Anyway, the movie is uh, stars Tim Matheson. You might remember him as Eric Stratton in Animal House. And then Meg Tilly, who did Psycho 2 uh, a few years before this. As well as some other things. One Night Only, I think she was in. Uh, not One Night Only. One, One Dark Night, I think she was in that too. But anyway, uh, they're a couple. And uh, she gets... Oh, at the very beginning of this movie, there's this earthquake that happens in this small town. And uh, shortly thereafter, uh, Meg Tilly's mother, who lives in that small town, gives her a call. And she starts swearing at her, calling her a bitch. And Meg Tilly is, like, baffled. Like, what the hell are you talking about, Mom? Next thing you know, Mom shoots herself while on the phone with Jennifer. So they go to this town. Mom's not dead, actually, but uh, she's not well. Uh, but she's in the hospital. And strange things start happening. This old man on the street drops his trousers and pisses on the back of uh, Stewart's car, Tim Matheson's car. Um, when he takes this woman's parking space uh she yells at him he's about to like move out of the way i'm sorry you can have it but instead she starts smashing into his car uh what's happening is um everybody seems in this town seems to be acting on impulse the title impulse in other words you get an urge to do something and you just do it you know i'm sure everybody has had certain urges like that like in the bank uh some people start stealing the money from the tell tellers um which obviously you wouldn't normally do but uh, they had an urge to do it so they just did it uh, what happened is, and we find this out later, a uh, uh, strange thing, um, uh, Bill Paxson is Meg Tilly's brother, and they're staying with the fam at the family house. Stuart finds some uh, risque photos of Jennifer in various stages of undress in Bill Paxton's room, and he's kind of incestuous and has these pictures. He's like, damn, I should have burned them. Uh, and then uh, Stuart ends up killing him. Um uh, Meg Tilly, Jennifer freaks out. She leaves the house, uh, flees in a truck. There's chaos happening in the streets, um, and she gets out of town, but then somebody shoots the truck, and it rolls over the side of the road, and then she's stuck there. Um, the next day, Stuart is wandering through the woods and finds this uh, 
cracked area where a toxic waste thing had uh, clearly been um, uh, damaged. Uh, it was earthquake damage. They'd sealed it up since then. But however, there was this big leak of toxic waste. He followed that leak and went to this milk processing plant or something. And then he deducted that, okay, anybody who's had milk in this area is infected. And that's obviously what's happening. People are acting on their impulses based on this toxic waste that apparently did anything. Well, apparently, Meg Tilly is the only one who hasn't had any milk. Everybody else in town has had it. So uh, Stuart finds her in the truck and says, you better leave. I'm going to go back to town and see if I can help. Because he's, I think, like a doctor or something. Um, but as he's leaving, he sees these guys in an airplane who have some barrels and they're like dropping some spray all over the town. And, uh, when he confronts the guy doing it, uh, the guy on the ground, he's got a government car, government issued truck. The guy shoots him. Well, uh, Jennifer who was nearby, saw the shooting. She guns it and then runs that guy over. And then, uh, she ends up walking back to the town or walking somewhere. I don't know. And we get a prologue that nobody really knew what happened, but, that's the end of our movie. So anyway, Impulse. I didn't really care for this movie, to be honest with you. I, I just was a little bit bored by it. Um, it's okay. Uh, I think this might take a couple of viewings. I actually had to read on Wikipedia what the plot was because I think I missed some very key plot points. I don't know if it was slow and my mind wandered or if they just weren't very clear with them. I, I don't know. But yeah, I missed a few things. But that's apparently what happened. Like that milk processing plant. There was no way to detect that that was a milk processing plant. It looked like water, if anything, was there. But... Tim Matheson reveals it was milk later on. So, and if Meg Tilly was the only one drinking milk, I must have missed that somewhere. But apparently, I don't know, maybe she's lactose intolerant. I don't know. But anyway, that is Impulse. It's an okay film, but I didn't really care for it a whole heck of a lot. But check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Keno Lorber put this out, so I'd be willing to bet there's a Blu-ray of this as well. I'll leave a link down below to one of them if you're looking for it. And uh, if you've seen it, let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments. Watch it. Bye. Impulse.